Hey, what's up, Bulldogs? Today, I thought I would tackle the difficult question, is love a myth or do you believe in love? I think this is an important question. I think this is an important thing to understand and know because it's gonna determine how you operate as a man and how you're gonna operate in relationships and whether you're even gonna pursue relationships at all or for whether they're worth it. Should you even get married? Should you ever have a family? Does it ever make sense? Is it hopeless, right? I think a lot of guys today have this message that things are hopeless. And here's the thing, all right? I coach a lot of guys. I work with a lot of guys, not just dating coach, not just showing them how to you know, pick up girls and get laid. I do, I do some of that as well. All right. But the, I coach them also on their actual relationships and actually being successful in those relationships. All right. And that's usually the more important thing to teach guys, because what I found, all right, is I found that so many guys, they don't know how to be a man in a relationship. That That's the thing that they really don't know how to do. The guys think that they don't know how to talk to women and how to pick up girls and, and sure that that's true but the bigger problem right because you can get a woman you can get a girlfriend you can get a wife or whatever without having any kind of pick up skills right you don't have to have game you don't have to you know you can literally just have a coworker, have a social circle of friends meet someone and hit it off with them and just be real and, and not have any kind of, you know, any kind of skill. You don't even have to develop that area at all. And you can get into a relationship. OK, that, that's how most people have gotten into relationships historically. Right. When you look about at, at something like game. All right. Uh, what it really is, is just kind of a hack. It's a social hack to gain some level of attraction more quickly than than you could. And it's mostly because of the way that society is today, that we live in a society where you could literally go up to a girl and she can know nothing about you uh, because we're not in some kind of tribe and you can present whatever face that you want. You can present your best attributes. You, you, can, you can hack the psychology of human beings to a degree and you can cause yourself to get to the next level quickly. But it's not magic. And here's why it's not magic is because it's more important to understand how to be a man in a relationship. And that's where the whole love part of the equation comes in, right? It's easy to some degree to get laid. That's not a problem. What's difficult is to actually maintain a relationship and to keep the love. And that's what I coach a lot of guys on is that part of it, because that's the part that's messed up. And so getting back to this, right? Why do guys think there's no such thing as love? Why are they jaded in this area? Well, because guys, many guys have started out and they fell in love with a girl. All right. They thought they were in love. They dated some girl, maybe their first girlfriend or wife or whatever it was. And they love this girl. All right. And they were a nice guy at this point. OK, they didn't have a backbone. They weren't very masculine. They didn't stand up for themselves. And they thought that love was just enough. Right. In that sense, love doesn't exist because it doesn't exist like that. And so they had this Disney fairy tale version of love in their mind. And they thought if they just did things for a girl and they just treated her well and they just loved her, that she would in turn love them. And at first she did. And then what ended up happening? She ended up abusing him, walking all over him, eventually maybe cheating on him or leaving him. And he was heartbroken. And he said, well, you know, th this doesn't work. Or, or maybe he was introduced to a new philosophy, which is a better philosophy about the real nature of women. All right. And there's some good books on it. Right. You know, Rollo Tomasi, you know, he, he wrote a really good book called The Rational Male. Right. And he, he wrote several volumes. But, you know, the, the key one is that first book I, I consider it to be a really good book. I think all of you guys should read it. OK, so guys read this book, let's say, or they, they learn this, they, they get awakened to some degree and then they flip the other way and they think there's no such thing as love. And they start to see what the error of their behavior was because they, they messed up. And so they get to this point where they're like, oh, I see. This is what women are about. They, they're hypergamous. OK, so women are looking to find a better and better guy and they're looking to trade up and to, to move up and they want a guy that's higher value than them. And they look at how women are attracted to men and what kind of things that women find attractive. And they say, OK, well, maybe it's more of these asshole -ish traits, right, which isn't entirely true, but it's it's somewhat true because it's about being confident. But it's not just confidence. It's about having a mission, a purpose in life. It's not caring what other people think. Right. When I talk about what does it mean to be a man, what's the most important attribute? It's not caring what other people think. It's it's following your own direction and not really caring, not trying to get validation from other people, like to being sure of yourself 
and that's really what it is. And so, you know, guys get confused about that they, because they don't have all the information. And so they interpret it as all negative. And they say like, okay, well, I have to keep my arms distance from women because women don't like, don't love men the way that, that men love. And, and there's some truth to it, okay? But it's not entirely true because they get jaded on that. Then they say, okay, well, my way of dealing with women is to be more like this guy, not to fall in love with them, not to treat them really well. And, and maybe these guys learn some game, okay? They learn ways to pick up women and it works. Maybe for some of these guys it works, all right? And so they're able to sleep with women. And and so then they they realize that, yeah, there's no such thing as love, right? I had this, this false illusion before and maybe they even get into a relationship again and then it goes a little bit better because they they don't treat the girl very well. You know, they, they don't give her anything. They don't tolerate any of her bull crap. And so she doesn't quite walk all over them, but she doesn't really love the guy and she doesn't really show him that much love. And he doesn't feel it either because he has to, you know, keep her at arm's distance. He never builds any kind of intimacy. And so it's never really close. And he says, you know, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Like, why am I going to get hitched up with a girl, potentially lose half of my assets, lose some of my autonomy? I can just get out there and, and I don't I don't need any any particular woman because there's no such thing as love. OK. Now, the problem with that is that he erred in two ways, right? And this is the evolution of most men, right? Is that at first he was a super nice guy and he attributed that his failings with women to love, to his notion of love, which his notion of love was incorrect, but he threw out the entire thing. He said, okay, well, I'm gonna adopt this new philosophy, right? And he found this new philosophy and that new philosophy, it was wrong as well because it it wasn't quite all the way the truth. There was some truth to it. He saw reality a little bit more clearly. He wasn't this nice guy, this sucker anymore. But at the same time, he hadn't tempered the two, right? What I want to teach you how to do, right, is to actually temper the two. So let me answer the question now. Do I believe in love? Do I believe love is a myth? No, I believe in love. I do believe that it is true, but it's difficult. It's elusive, right? Because you have to learn how to be a man that doesn't tolerate crap that doesn't just fall over a woman and just give her everything and be a guy that to stop being a nice guy all right you need to stop being a nice guy but at the same time you need to replace that with not being a a callous asshole but instead you need to replace that with being a guy that stands up for himself that's confident that has his purpose his mission in life doesn't allow people to treat him in a way that he doesn't want to be treated but at the same time has compassion. But how many times have you done this before? I've done this before, right? Where you're this nice guy, all right? And you show this love to a woman, she doesn't return it. And then eventually you get angry and you get upset or or maybe you're already angry and upset, but you don't tell her, right? You you complain, you say she's such a bitch, whatever. You, 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 you basically hate her, okay? But you're pretending like you love her because you're in love with her, because you want her to want you. And that's what you're doing, right? That's not actually loving. Right. So that's the problem is that when you say, you know, does love exist in that sense? No, it doesn't because that's not actually that's not actually love. Right. So in order to truly love a woman, what must you do? You must love her despite her flaws. You must love her through her emotional torrents, the way that she's going to act and behave. Right now. It doesn't mean tolerating disrespect. Obviously, you have to draw the line. You have to have boundaries. You have to have standards and say, OK, I'm not going to let someone talk to me like this. I'm not going to be with someone who doesn't treat me well. Right. But at the same time, you you can't make your love conditional because you're making your love conditional. Right. Now, you, you can love someone and not be with them. Right. That That's the way, you know, that you should be as a man. You should be like, I love the world. I love people. I don't have to be friends with everyone. I don't have to get along with everyone. I don't have to have people have my attention or my presence. They, they don't they don't necessarily get that unless they deserve that. But I don't have to have hatred or animosity towards them. And it's the same exact thing here. Now, there's a lot more to this, right? There's a lot more to this about how to actually do this. And if you do this correctly, let me just let me just tell you, if you know how to lift up a woman, if you know how to make a woman feel desired and to feel attractive and to feel good, if you can make her feel those things, she will fall deeply in love with you, right? To the point where she would give up her life for you. And I know this sounds crazy, but this is what a lot of guys were looking for as the Holy Grail, but they didn't find it because they were doing the wrong thing. And then they completely abandoned it because they learned about the nature of women and they still didn't do the right thing, 
right? Because the right thing is hard. The right path is a hard path. It, it's the ability to, to balance these things, to be able to be a self-sufficient man who has boundaries, who has high value for himself, who has high character and integrity and, and internal integrity, meaning that he doesn't compromise himself. He doesn't allow people to treat him poorly, but at the same time, to have compassion, to have mercy, to have patience and to truly nurture and, and show love to, to a woman, right? That's rare, that's difficult. It's, believe me, I talk to lots of guys, I talk to lots of girls, right? And what I've discovered is something that's very rare out there. Now, the closest thing that I can give you to this, well, there's just two things I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. If you want to, so if you want to be this kind of guy, all right, this is what my focus is for Bulldog Mindset. I wanna teach you how to be this guy. Now, I teach you this, I teach you how to be masculine. I teach you how to make money. I teach you how to get good physique and, and to get girls, all right, to, and to be attractive to girls, right? All of these things. But if you wanna learn this key element, right, how to be that man, that's what Bulldog Mindset's about. Now, I've got the Bulldog Mindset membership. I'm gonna tell you about it here. Check it out, $7 for the first month. Believe me, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. There's a lot of good stuff in there, right? If you're talking about the sexual side, I can give you some advice that is going to blow a woman's mind. Believe me, it's gonna be the best that she's ever had, all right? And that's gonna make a difference too, okay? <laughs> that can make a woman love you uh, or, or be more inclined to love you just based on that, believe me, or at least stay with you. That's, that's really important, it's, it's in there. But also, how to be a really, strong man in a relationship. There's a good book I'm gonna recommend. It's in the Bulldog Mindset membership as well. It's called The Way of the Superior Man by David Yeda. All right, I have a book summary in the membership about that. Go check it out. Again, you know, go do it right now if you're, if you're serious about this uh, because I want you guys to awaken. I want you guys to come out of the BS that you've been living. You've been, you've been being told one line and you've been told another line. Now guys aren't purposely deceiving you in many cases. Women aren't pers purposely deceiving you. The world isn't, they just don't know it. They just don't have it figured out. Women don't know what they actually want. They don't quite understand it, all right? And so you're seeing different aspects play out. You're seeing a world without love. You're seeing what happens if there is no such thing as love because people have abandoned this idea. Both men and women have abandoned this idea to, to some degree. Women hold on to it even more than men do actually. You, you'd be surprised. But what you're seeing, and then that's why you see all the kind of stuff that you see out there, right? Women will substitute. They will just sleep with a bunch of guys to get validation as a substitute for having a guy that they actually fall in love with that treats them right, that has respect for himself at the same time, right? Because women, they're, they're in a difficult place. You have to understand that a lot of women, they're gonna initially go after hot guys, okay? Because of dating apps, they're, they're going to, right? Let, let's, let's be honest here, right? Especially most of their exposure to men uh, and men that actually talk to them is on dating apps. And so they're gonna look for hot guys, of course, right? Because why would they not, right? Okay, and then a lot of those guys, they have a lot of options with women. And so they're not treating them Good, they're not treating them right. And so what ends up happening is they end up having a bad experience with hot guys, okay? Because these guys just want to have sex with them. They, they don't want to have anything to do with them. They don't make them feel special afterwards. They're not gonna have any kind of relationship. So they're burned on that, okay? Uh, and then they're like, okay, well, let me try th this guy. Let me give this guy an opportunity that that maybe is not this super hot guy on this dating app. And he he talked to me and, or I know him for, through a friend or something like that. And, and so they go on a date with this guy and this guy is a pushover. He's super nice. He treats her too well. He doesn't have any respect for himself. She gets all walk all over him. She's not attracted to him. Okay. So they're like, well, what the heck? Well, given the two choices, which one do they choose? They're going to choose to keep on sleeping with the hot guys on the dating apps, of course. Okay. Until they find a guy that comes along that meets their criteria, they're going to settle. Right. When they get old enough, they're going to settle. Right. These are all truths that you can hear in other philosophies, but you're missing the greater aspect of truth of this. But what do women really actually want? They actually want the guy that is like the hot guy in the sense that he has respect for himself. He has boundaries, all right? He has the ability to get other women. He has things going for him in his life. He is of a high value, but he treats her well and he doesn't, he's on a pushover. He treats her like she's special. He makes her feel unique and special. And, and that's what a woman is really, really looking for. And you, you throw in the little mix of him knowing how to go, go south. Like I said, I've got a good video on that in the Bulldog Mindset membership. And she's gonna fall in love with you. She's absolutely gonna fall in love with you to the sense that that, that is even more than you can even imagine. It's just that most guys have never experienced this. Most guys will never experience this. Most women have never experienced this. And it's because 
you're fucking up. You're, you are fucking up, Mr. Man. Watching this video, I'm telling you, you are fucking up. You are fu You could have it. You could have it. Okay, but you're fucking up. Okay, because you don't know, and it's not your fault. But I'm telling you now, right? Stop listening to the bullshit out there. Stop listening to the guys that are saying, oh, there's no such thing as blah, 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 blah. No, okay? You have to learn first how to be a man, how to have a backbone, how to stand up for yourself, how to set boundaries, how to have self-respect, how to go after what you want in life, to be more masculine. You have to learn that first. Then you have to learn how to be patient, how to be compassionate, how to actually love a woman without expecting things in return and you have to have your standards. If you can accomplish those two things, if you can understand how to treat a woman, right? While still understanding how to have respect for yourself, you can have it all. The problem is it's a very difficult path to walk and no one's teaching this, right? That's why I'm teaching this now. And that's gonna be a lot of what you're gonna see in the Bulldog Mindset membership as I start talking about more relationship stuff in there because this is what you need to know. Right? This is what's actually going to lead you to really long-term success and fulfillment and happiness. I mean, wouldn't you want to have a woman that adores you, that treats you like a king, that is madly in love with you, and that, that continues for years and years? Wouldn't you want to have that? Okay, I can show you how. You can you can say, no, John, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You're, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. You're full of crap. You can say that all you want. But you know what, what is what you're doing working right now? I mean, are you even getting laid? I mean, most of you guys aren't even getting laid, okay? So you're not even at at, at, at step one, okay? And then what's gonna happen when you do get a girl, okay? I mean, probably for most guys, the reality is they're not gonna go out and they're not gonna go out and pick up women and be good at game and all this and sleep with a bunch of women and they're not tall, six foot three Chad guys and they're, they're gonna be, that's not gonna be an option for most of you guys, okay? I mean, sure, you can learn game, you can put a lot of work into it and you can emulate some of that success, okay? Most of you guys, you're going to encounter some girl finally that that you're attracted to, that's attracted to you. Okay, maybe she's not the super hottest girl in the world. It's fine. Okay, but you just want to fall in love with her and just just be with her. It doesn't doesn't even, and then she's going to break your heart, or she's already done it. I'm going to tell you how to actually survive that and to actually have something that's that's meaningful, that is going to bring you a lot more fulfillment than just one night stands with, with women. That's fine. That's great. If you can do that, that's fine. I can show you how to do that too. That's, that's fine. But I'm going to show you something better and how to be that guy.